back in 2021, seems like so long ago, Nissan revealed a few concept vehicles as part of its announcement that it was going to invest $17.6 billion in the development of electric vehicles over the next few years. Now, one of the concepts is presented in a convertible two-seater sports car called the Max Out. But the automaker only released a render. It kind of showed what it was supposed to look like. Now, the company has shown off a real-life physical version of the Max Out at the launch of the Nissan Futures event. And it looks like the automaker stayed true to its original design. It's still a two-seater convertible with headlights and edges that light up in different neon colors. The EV's design has the mixed aesthetics of several different sci-fi franchises, including Tron and Avatar. But other than showing what it looks like, Nissan hasn't shared any details about the EV concept, probably because it doesn't have any plans to create a production version anytime soon, if at all. When the company first unveiled the Max Out, it vowed to develop 23 electric vehicles and to launch 15 new EVs by 2030. It didn't make a pledge to go fully electric by the end of the decade, but it did say that it was aiming for a mix of EVs and gas vehicles. In particular, it's targeting a mixed market of 75% electrified vehicles in Europe and 40% in the U.S. and China. One of the EVs it has released since its 2021 announcement is the Aria, Nissan's first electric crossover, which has an estimated range of 216 to about 300 miles, depending on the variant. Nissan says the Futures event will showcase how it's shaping the future of sustainable mobility and innovative design, and how it's preparing for the very challenges and opportunities the coming large-scale transition to electric mobility will bring. While the event will be held at the company's global headquarters in Japan, Nissan will upload some panel recordings on its YouTube channel. Watch Me Forever, started by the media lab Mismatch Media, runs the 24-7 Seinfeld-like sitcom like nothing forever. Using generative machine learning technologies such as Dolly, OpenAI, GPT, Stable Diffusion, and others, the resulting video makes for an awkward Xerox of Larry David's 90s sitcom. There's an Elaine, a George, a Kramer, and of course Jerry, all of whom live in what appears to be a New York-esque metropolis. But while the show bears an obvious resemblance to Seinfeld, it doesn't retain its charm or comedy. In fact, it's not just awkward, it's bizarre and uncanny. It looks like a rejected PS1 voxel game. The characters flop about when they move. The camera angles are strangely placed with some of the weirdest zoom-ins I've ever seen, and the writing is pretty flat. Makes sense considering the entire thing was made using artificial intelligence. There's even a stand-up comedy portion just like in Seinfeld and laugh tracks that attempt to reinforce the supposed punchlines. At one point during the show, Larry made this joke about animals eating clowns, asking the crowd why such a thing might happen. Because they taste funny, Larry quipped. There was a long bit of silence, customary for Nothing Forever, before the laugh track briefly popped in, only to be cut short by the even more awkward transitional music. And because this is an endless AI-generated show, none of these jokes are likely to ever appear again. But maybe that's why some 3,000 other people can't stop watching Mismatch Media's Nothing Forever. It's weird, sure, but it's also alluring in its unsettling production. Everything in the show is stiff and artificial. The voice acting especially is rough around the edges. Still, Nothing Forever has this strange ability to capture your attention as you watch Discount Jerry and friends stand around the apartment, often talking about nothing between spats of empty silence.
I'm finding it very interesting, all of these major brands that are all of a sudden getting into the e-bike realm. Greenworks is another brand that they're known for power tools, corded and battery powered, and they basically sell across the majority of Europe and in the U.S. as well. They're, they're a pretty low-cost brand that gets most of their supplies from China, and in an interesting turn of events, it appears that Greenworks looks to go go beyond the realm of literal utility and transform itself into a lifestyle brand. At the recently concluded CES in Nevada, the company unveiled more than a dozen new prototypes, all of which have leveraged advancements in battery technology. Among the new products is a range of electric scooters and electric bicycles. More specifically, the new electric scooter makes use of existing Greenworks batteries battery technology, making it incredibly easy to swap out batteries for added range. In fact, the battery used in the new scooter is the same 24-volt unit found in over a hundred Greenworks power tools. That's pretty cool. In terms of styling, there's not much that sets it apart from its competitors, but the fact that it uses a battery that's readily and commercially available is certainly a plus. As for the electric bikes, there are a total of three models to choose from. There are two all-terrain electric bikes, one with 20-inch wheels and the other with the standard 26-inch wheel. The latter takes the form of a mountain bike-style two-wheeler, whereas the former is more of a neo-retro two-wheeler. A, a, a la Super 73 type of thing. The third model is ideal for folks who have no intention of going off-road at all, and it's simply called the Commuter. It rolls on 27.5-inch wheels and is decked out with a rear luggage rack, fenders, and built-in illumination. As part of the new e-mobility products, Greenworks has also launched a new electric home power station called the Life Power Hub. The home energy system is essentially a gigantic battery that can store energy from the grid or other power generation solutions such as solar panels as well as wind and hydro power power if you have the infrastructure to have these devices in your home. To complement the Power Hub, Greenworks also launched a slew of intelligent home appliances such as self-cleaning vacuums and mops, a robotic lawnmower, and even a UTV. Greenworks has yet to announce pricing for its new electric scooter and e-bike range. For more information about Greenworks' upcoming products, be sure to visit their official website, greenworkstools.com. 